Hi there YouTube friends. I have a recipe that I would like to share with you today. It is for peanut butter pie. What you're going to need to make this is an 8 ounce brick of cream cheese that has been softened, 1 cup of confectioner sugar, 3 quarters of a cup of creamy peanut butter, a half a cup of milk, an 8 ounce tub of Cool Whip, and a graham cracker pie crust and I just use these uh, store-bought ones because this is a freezer pie and that way you don't have to worry about your pie plate um, being in the freezer it's in one of these disposable pie tins and you don't have to worry about it in my mixing bowl here I have my peanut butter my cream cheese and my confectioners sugar so the first step was to was to beat these three ingredients together i have this in my KitchenAid uh, mixing bowl so i'm going to pause you here so you're not listening to my noisy mixer now that i have those three ingredients mixed together it's now time to add my milk and then give this a mix again My milk has been added to my peanut butter mixture and it's nice and smooth and creamy. And the last step, or one of the last steps here is to fold in your container of Cool Whip. And I don't wanna turn my mixer on for this. You do just wanna gently fold this so that you don't break down uh, your Cool Whip. So you're just gonna keep like folding and turning here very gently until this all gets incorporated and as you can see when I started here I did have lower fat cream cheese and this pie still comes out fine it's also uh, worked out just fine if I've used the lower fat uh, the light cool whip and you can see I did have the generic cool whip from Aldi it still comes out fine I'm gonna keep going with this folding this and I'll get back to you when it's time to pour the filling into the pie crust. This is what my peanut butter mixture looks like now that I have folded in all the Cool Whip. And this is where I have deviated from the recipe. Um, the recipe that I have tells you to pour this into two graham cracker crust. I prefer to only use one. Um, I think that if you used two, you would kind of have a half-filled pie shell. Um, and I want this to be really full, and I want everybody to get a really thick slice of pie. So I always only use, only use one pie crust. So if you would want uh, to end up with two pies, if you need to serve more people, and you don't mind uh, the pie crust being really full, um, go ahead and use two, but it's just my preference. I'm only gonna use one pie crust. So here it is, here is my peanut butter pie. I have my filling all inside of my pie shell here. You can see that it's nice and full. This is absolutely delicious just as it is. But if you want to, you could garnish this with some chocolate sauce or mini chocolate chips or mini um, peanut butter cups. But I do recommend um, garnishing this after you take it out of the freezer and you're cutting it and serving it. Um, this is a freezer pie. You are supposed to freeze this for about six to eight hours. So if you put the chocolate on it and then um, stick it in the freezer, obviously your chocolate is going to freeze on you and it's gonna feel like you're biting down on rocks and not chocolate. So I highly recommend, uh, if you do wanna garnish this with some chocolates, um, waiting until you're ready to serve. So that is it, that's my peanut butter pie. So you would just cover this and stick it in the freezer and wait several hours and dig in and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you tried this. Take care, everyone.